So, Eddie, you've had like uh, some very limited exposure to Matt Hardy and Broken Matt Hardy. Uh, so, you like, what do you think of him? Uh, Did he? <laughs> yeah. After uh, seeing some of his recent work <laughs> and the word delete brings a whole new meaning to my life now. Delete. 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 We might delete this. That was uh, pretty interesting stuff. It's a it's a very interesting creative character, uh, and it's what I really love about the character is that it makes everyone else around him better. You know, like uh, realistically, what it's done for Senor Benjamin, and even what it's done for Jeff, giving giving him a new lease on life, as far as you know, the, his character, uh, the Willow character was kind of you know kind of gas. It was it was it was horrible. I, I didn't really particularly care for it. But this new broken Jeff Hardy thing that he's got going on with uh, with Matt and what went on with uh, Delete and Decay, what he's doing with Decay, it's, a, it's amazing stuff. It's really good. And he's always entertaining. I mean, you have to admit, Eddie, he is always entertaining. Yes. His segments that you showed me were pretty entertaining. Um, you know, it brought me back to, after all these years, uh, taking a look at the old Ultimate Warrior uh, macho man Randy Savage videos those and promos just, or they and just... those promos and just thinking like what was I watching as a child <laughs> it's, and how you and to, what like what is happening here you, you have to think that and then I thought 15 that, years there's gonna be a kid that's been watching Broken Matt Hardy right now yes, who's gonna have the same thought in their it, life <laughs> exactly what I'm saying I thought it was like a dying art mm -hmm. you know I was like eh, fucking you know there's nobody doing it at that level you know the, there isn't anybody talking about the Grin Lab system anymore, like Ultimate Warrior was, and some weird <laughs> out the, off the uh, wall stuff. The blood, blood red moon. Right. See, yeah. and then you get this guy who comes in and just starts telling you delete every few seconds. It, well, no, and, yeah, all, it, it, and it, just and, all the other crazy and, stuff, and all the other crazy stuff that he does, and all of a sudden, you know, you're walking through life on a daily basis, and things bother you, and all you can think is delete, <laughs> delete. <laughs> so, Matt Hardy. Goes. Let's say he he works out some sort of deal with uh, with WWE, and he ends up broken Matt Hardy in WWE. Do they water him down? I don't think you can water delete down. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think they're gonna try to get. You'd him be surprised way. what they can water down. They can water down a lot of different things. You had the the bad news Barrett thing was pretty awesome, and then once he got on TV. He, they just it just sucked. I don't know. I creatively. Do you think? Do you think creatively they can even wrap their heads around what Matt Hardy is doing right now? I think he's ahead of his time, and that's why they can't. I think. Yeah, you know, I, I like that you said that he's ahead of his time, just because. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of very classic. Promos, promo yeah. skills in what he says but he's twisted it in a way that appeals to today appeals to today yeah and hey if you like this video or any other video don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment down below on anything that you might want to see or what might want to hear about okay so you really listen to what he's saying there it doesn't make a lot of sense <laughs> yeah <laughs> Half of, this, half of that stuff doesn't make any sense, but it's considered a classic promo because of how, the relevance that uh, at its time, right? And what it did to elicit a response from the audience that made it classic, and that's what Matt Hardy's doing. A lot of stuff he doesn't he says just doesn't make any sense at all. Well, here's the thing. What accent is that? Here's the thing. <laughs> when it doesn't make any sense today, it's because you're pushing the boundaries today. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're pushing the boundaries today, you find yourself on the top. Ex you're expanding minds. You're expanding minds. Yeah. I might need a, an acid trip or something just to, to keep track. Do you think he's dropping a couple? I think he's dropping a few things. <laughs> Before he gets on the... I mean... The bucks of youth. I mean, they've been around for a while. Who? The, the Hardys? The Hardys. Yeah. Yeah. And... I've heard of them a long time ago, but Broken Matt Hardy, yeah. Matt Hardy is just, he reinvented himself after all these years. It's like, 
You know, it's like having a second yeah. chance at life. Yeah. You know, and you can't be a you can't be an NBA star and just be in it for a long time and all of a sudden let me hit the rewind button, start all over again, and just blow up in your career. You know, you know, but you can make adjustments. I think a, a good analogy of that would be uh, what Jordan did back in when Chicago Bulls days. After he came back, he became less of a when he was during his first three P. Right, he was more of a uh, straight to the hole layup dunk. A lot, you know, his yes. his shots were yes. closer to the rim. When he came back with the four five, everybody knows he came back with the four five. He Phenomenal had developed, shooter. yeah, he had developed his, his jump shot to a point where he was doing these fadeaways, and, and, and he could do the fadeaway just with his eyes closed and all the lights turned off in the arena, and he would still make it in. Right, <laughs> you know what I mean. He's made and, adjustments, and he so he made that adjustment. And a lot of the great players, especially when they get older, you you look at Matt Hardy. He can't wrestle the way he used to. He really can't. I mean, he has his weird limp thing going. Right. Yeah, I, he's he's broken down. He's got a new lease of life with this with Phys- his character. Physically, his ability declined as a wrestler. Yeah, but mentally. He's matured in but his, his art his, to, yeah. to stay relevant Absolutely. as it's, a premier yeah. wrestling personality. And he is the premier wrestling personality right now in TNA. The premier. There's nobody that gets more attention right now in TNA without the championship belt, too. Because their champion is, what, Eddie Edwards right now? Their, their heavyweight champion. Bobby Lashley, this huge Brock Lesnar-style um, wrestler, gets no play. In the in wrestling community, as opposed to Matt Hardy right now, who's got a fucking white streak in his hair. Which, which, like we said earlier, like the fact that he was able to reinvent himself mm-hmm. and be what he is today is just it's it's an amazing thing. It is. So here's the question: Can he continue that in WWE? If if let's say he decides to sign with WWE, him Jeff, I Senior think he Benjamin. continue it, but I think on his way out of what TNA, of uh, when it comes his time to retire, yeah, it would be great if he retired on top before the person before he's, it got is he that uh, old that he's gonna retire in the next two years. I don't think so. I think mean, he keep it rolling for a while. Ric Flair uh, retired when he was like uh, 204. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but who knows? By the time he's ready to retire, he could be unrebuilt Matt Hardy and be a whole different personality. Now, broken Matt Hardy to rebuilt Matt Hardy. No, he, can, he might have a whole cycle going here. Nobody knows might, about yeah. it. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Matt Hardy has a 10-year plan with this character. I'm like sure 10 he years. Does. And I would not be surprised if Matt Hardy has the WWE as part of that 10-year plan. Right. 